everybody and welcome to hopefully will be the first of many wrestling game streams on this channel. Uh, my name is Steven. I'm one of the members of Under Polaris. Uh, everyone who's commenting here who has seen my streams before knows that I love to babble and go on about a lot of information about history and things such as that. And we're going to talk about wrestling and I know I wouldn't be able to do this without someone who knows a lot about wrestling and that is uh, my fellow commentating partner. Oh, that's true. Uh, Mr. Zach Romero, you can uh, introduce yourself to the people. Well, hello everyone. Thank you for having me on here. This is my first uh, official live stream, so hopefully I don't uh, crap the bed too badly here. But yes, uh, I am uh, Mr. Wrestling in Florida. No, I uh, co-host a podcast about wrestling called The Indie Cast. I, I'm co-owner of a merchandise company for wrestlers called Fully Gimmicked. I've hosted uh, shows, and as Steven pointed out, we've done commentary for Fully Gimmick Fight Club on B Movie TV on Roku. So yeah, I am inundated. I am up to my elbows and eyeballs in wrestling, and uh, so hopefully, I have no idea what Steven's going to be playing today. I don't know if I'll be playing anything, but uh, I'm I'm ready to take this journey together. Uh, we'll definitely play a lot. We're going to be taking a look at Nintendo only right now. We're going to take a look at Game Boy, uh, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo, Super Nintendo. We got a bunch of games to take a look at. So uh, it should be pretty good. We're going to start off on the Game Boy, and we're going to start off with the company that once was WCW. This is a WCW main event on the Game Boy. So we'll see how this one turns out. Uh, so what I want to do for all these games, because I haven't played all of them, we're going to take a look at the roster and the modes and see how these games differ from each other in that respect. And, and hopefully you get to see kind of the evolution of wrestling games because oh, totally. wrestling games nowadays sort of get like a Madden rap where it's just sort of, not the actual Madden rap, but a Madden rap <laughs> of, uh, of just all being the same and just being like roster changes and that's it. So yeah. it would be nice to kind of see how things have evolved here. So let's see what we got in here. I'm guess professional is just one-on-one -on -one exhibition type style um, gameplay mode. So for the roster, uh, oh, Jesus Christ. time limit, number of falls, really? <laughs> wow. Two out of three falls? Uh, I guess or so. three out of five, I guess? Yeah. Uh, so look at one fall for now. All right, here we go. Here yeah. is... All righty. Rick Rude. Oh, Rude. very nice. Holy crap. Ron Simmons, first nice. ever uh, Black World Heavyweight Champion. Sting, Surfer Sting on top Ooh. of that. Woo. <laughs> Steve Stunning Austin, Steve Austin <laughs> with hair like a baby. There we go, before Stone Cold. Johnny B. Oh, Bad. Oh, God, Mark Merrow. Ugh. That, that's... It, went, it was a different time where you could just rip off Little Richard and that was cutting edge. So it, it's actually really embarrassing to watch now. There's a bit that's cut on the network where Johnny B. Bad... Cause when he came to WWF, when they got him there, did he come immediately as Mark Merrow? Mark Merrow, or was he still Johnny B. Bad? It was... Um, the wild man, Mark Marrow, but okay. it was just Johnny B. Bad in a loincloth. Okay, so I think it was when, you, I don't know if it was still WCW or when you're coming to WWF, there's a bit on the network where someone's talking and it cuts to black, and it's like, technical issues, we don't have this footage anymore. They actually edited it out because the wrestlers against some masked big hoss was essentially calling him a bunch of homophobic slurs. Oh, Jesus. And he did it right in front of the camera. And they kept it. <laughs> like I think like JR was like, Whoop shit, sorry about that folks. Yeah. But yeah, it's really A bad. golden era of wrestling. A golden really. era, alright. Uh Dustin Rhodes. Uh, wow. The um, American dream was my dad, Dustin Rhodes. <laughs> <laughs> big Van Vader, big now, capitalized. Here's the thing, like big like it's in parentheses, like uh like it's uh being like, they're saying it uh, to be a dick. Like, oh, he's big Van yeah, Vader, if you yeah. know what I'm saying. But no, Vader's thing was, like, he would just murder people. There's a whole uh, Starcade 93. The hmm. entire buildup is that Ric Flair is going to fight Vader, and Vader's going to murder Ric Flair. <laughs> like, the opening, the opening promo is Ric Flair says goodbye to his children because daddy may not be coming home tonight. Like, I, oh my god. No exaggeration, by the way. That is crazy. Like, there's a whole segment where uh, Ric Flair is, dr is driving to the arena in a limo with Mean Gene. And they're having, <laughs> like, a career retrospective on Ric Flair because he's going to die. Oh my god. And so, uh, yeah, he says something like, Who's going to woo when the Nature Boy's gone? Like, no <laughs> exaggeration. Vader's gimmick was, I'm going to murder somebody. And then the best part is, when they're promoting Vader, they're just showing nothing but Botchamania B-roll footage of him, like, throwing little guys on their necks and stuff like that. And they're like, that's just what he does. So, 
So that was his. No, no elephant at this time. It was just he might murder somebody. Oh my god, it's amazing. Rick Steiner, the uh, what did what they keep calling? Dogface Gremlin. Yeah, Dogface Gremlin. Thank you. I knew it was something Gremlin. No, it's not, it's it doesn't really fit anyway. Like, and of course, long-haired Scott Steiner before the. Uh, Big booty steroids. Before he was the big booty daddy or owned a Shoney's. God, he does own it. <laughs> so, uh, I just, I gotta go. Yeah, with... I figured baby haired Steve Austin. Stunning gotta Steve, go. gotta go with it. And who are we gonna beat up? Ooh, um. Hmm. Let's go with Johnny. Let's go with. No, you know what? Let's go with uh, Mr. No Gimmick Dustin Rhodes. Dustin Rhodes? You yeah. got it. And if it's anything like the actual match that this happened, the lights will go out halfway through the game, and we'll just fight awkwardly in the dark. <laughs> all right. Well, honestly, gotta say, so far this game feels all right. Uh, doesn't feel very stiff. Oh, gee. hey, hey, that's, hey, hey, hey! That's wow. A, if Bill Watts is is booking this, that's against the rules. Exactly. You can't be jumping off the top rope like that. So what? What was Bill Watts' deal when he? Okay, so WCW has gone through many owners, especially around this time. Well, owners and bookers. Owners they, and bookers. They would. They would uh, because the Crockett's owned it for a little while, and then uh, they would just kind of have different bookers come in, and they had Dusty, and they had uh, Bill Watts and Ole Anderson. Mm -hmm. And Bill Watts and Ole Anderson both kind of came from that same school of thought of, like, the old school was the way to go. This is the quickest fucking wrestling match I've ever oh, done yeah, in Dustin a video Rhodes game. doing the job there. Yeah, like, damn, Dustin, who did you piss off in the back? Right. Well, apparently... Oh, I like uh, Missy Hyatt there, uh, presenting you with the chance... Apparently it was a number one contendership match. I guess you're, you're so. The champion, so there you go. Uh, all right, I guess let's see here. Let's see a single match. Uh, let's do the world title. See what this is Hell about. Hell yeah. Time limit. All right, uh, five minutes. Why not? Clearly, it's gonna go to the limit here. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's let's go with let's see a Nick Vader look. Yeah. I want to see the Nick yeah. Vader look. Uh, I haven't fight uh, Rick Rude since Rick Rude was a uh, you got champion it. a lot of time. Notice no Rick uh, Flair in this game. That's yeah. Surprising. Very surprising. Oh man, Vader's way more stocky than that. Yeah, that, I don't. I don't remember Vader ever being that svelte. Also, uh, I'm a little disappointed. I mean, this is a Game Boy game, but I'm a little disappointed that the kick and soundtrack. Oh, outside wow. the ring. <laughs> there we go. Oh, business just picked up. Get back in here, Rick. Also, a little sad that they didn't. Uh, they didn't uh, animate the the kick and stash on Rick Root. Yeah. That f jumping animation is the single greatest thing I've ever seen <laughs> in my life. Yeah, I will say this is. Of the wrestling games I have played, oh, I'm just going to keep rolling until he can't do anything because I can't go outside the ring. Check <laughs> I was getting fucked up by Rick Rude. I can't get out. I can't get out. No. Shit. <laughs> Way to job there, Vader. Fuck. Oh, that sucked. All right. I guess we got more falls. All right. That was booked like an actual wrestling match. Like, there you go. Like, oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Just punch him right in the face. <laughs> No, no, not doing this shit again. Yeah, don't get caught in that corner. Uh, I'll say, like, yeah, of these Game Boy and even NES uh, wrestling games I have played, this is one of the better feeling ones I have ever played. I'm actually genuinely shocked by how good this feels. I don't know if he hit you with the Rude Awakening or not. I can't tell. I can't get but up. But he certainly <laughs> asked about the no shit idea out of you. what I'm doing. Okay, I take back all of my compliments. <laughs> yeah, you get... But you get that stuck in that ass bump loop. It's hard to get out of there. Shit, are we doing a fucking Iron Man match? Like... How many falls I have to set up to? Uh, I guess probably maybe two out of three. No, because he would have done it. So Got, like, maybe oh, three out of Vader. five. There we there go. go. Shit. Run away! Oh, <laughs> that's the back of the, the neck. Rope. That's. Get up, Vader! <laughs> Shit! How did, he was like climbing out of the <laughs> ring. How did he get you? I guess he can't do rope breaks in this game either. Now is it just G shame? Like, what is it just like? <laughs> just like it's, it's, stop! He's already dead. Oh, there's another rude awakening for you, and then. Series of ass bumps. There we go. Nice Get him with suplex. the suplex. There we go. Get him with the Irish whip. Just punch him right in the fucking chin on the way in. So, um... Yep. Okay, got the one count. Finally got a pin on. Get the attempt in there. Uh, so I know we'll get to it probably in time, but, um... Nope. No, 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 no! Ah, oh, shit! I... It, oh my god, is this how many pins you can get in the span of time? This is an Iron Man match! It's a shame match. The almighty ground pound. Exactly. <laughs> He's just fucking Mario and the shit out of you like, right now. Rick Flair is a, a uh, excuse me, Rick Rude's a strong man. I don't deny that. A, a you saw strength. those glutes. Yeah. He, he, in those airbrush tights. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. And also what killed me, every time he turns his head, I swear to God, like the way they have his face look, he looks like a like, mustacheless Jimmy Hart. Uh, true. 
God. Don't get in that corner. That is. You, don't I, I don't that mean to. I just. I don't know how to get the fuck up. <laughs> there oh, we go. Oh, one count. Suplex. Okay. Nice. Oh, gonna nope. go the, the the bump. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Irish whip. Get it. Just punch in the fucking face. Get into a pin. One count. I'm, I'm just. Oh, oh how right the outside. hell did you do that? From mid rank. <laughs> Holy <the> crap, Rick. <laughs> Showing off for the uh, for the sweat hogs in the crowd. Okay. So like, so that was definitely like the, the great thing about Rick Rude when he was with WWF was that he was this look how beautiful I am you and you can't fucking stop me and I'm gonna make you women love me. Was that the same in WCW as well? Basically. Yeah, same same, um, same yeah, gimmick. Yeah, like let me airbrush very very specific things onto my tights. Okay. Um, including like the. Uh, that WWF or WCW? He feuded with Jake the Snake Roberts, and he had Jake the Snake's wife's face WWF. airbrushed onto his groin. That's WWF. And then Jake the Snake Roberts pulled the tights off of him, and Rick Rude was just naked ass in the middle of the ring, like, because <laughs> that's how you tell a story. He has pinned me seven times in the span of five minutes, like. You know, this is very sad. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this. I don't know who did so that. So which is, which is. Which is a scarier Vader moment to you? Uh, when his eyeball got punched out of his head. Oh, Jesus. When he accidentally ripped Cactus Jack's ear off. Or when he showed up in Boy Meets World. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I guess I missed an episode of Boys Meet World. You never see that? I never no. saw that, oh, no. Fuck. Does he wear the mask? Like, yes, he's Vader. He's full-blown well, Vader. I think he's, um... Oh, God, he's somebody's dad. There we go. Uh, but in terms of scary Vader moment, yeah, when he got his fucking eyeball knocked out of his head. That is the craziest shit on the planet. Right? Yeah. Like, when he, when that happens. Fuck me. And the fact that he has the wherewithal to put it back in. Like, yes. that he's not just like, nobody touch it, nobody look at it. Also, he didn't see a lot of drop kicks from Vader, so no, I'm impressed with that. He got, Vader's got the big ups in this game. Oh, oh God. Mercy rule. Mercy rule. It took 11 pins from Rick Rude to take down Big Van Vader. That's why it's... <laughs> oh my god! Vader's dead! He's just dead! Oh, that's... That's a dark turn. I wasn't expecting that. Well, I think... I, think <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna be able to top that. I don't think that's enough, I think it's enough for WCW main event. I think it might be time to move on to uh, good old WWF now. Okay.